Good morning. We're starting the day off with some oats, bananas, and maple syrup. Mm. And I bought a bunch of hot coffee. I got maybe like four hours without sun last night. Maybe three. I mean, sunset around 10.30 and I woke up around 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the morning because uh, it was really bright outside and I had left the covers off the windows. One of the many positive side effects of 24 hours of daylight is my solar panels are kicking ass. I left the inverter on all night last night, running exports on my computer and doing all that stuff and like some heavy chugging. I would never do that normally. But the battery bank never dipped below uh, 50%, so it just kept rolling throughout the night. It's nice. I'm not that far north, and the weird thing with the sun is already happening where I'm just getting way too much of it, which is cool. Um, but I still have a lot of miles to make, and there's not that many points in the Arctic. There's still quite a lot, and I'm still going to miss a few, but like I spend a lot of time researching and filling out my map, and if you're on my Patreon, you know that... Um, yeah, that map in the Arctic is, there's a lot of miles between each one of those points, so keep that in mind when you're watching the next few episodes. I am driving a lot every day, so the episodes are probably going to be a bit shorter, just because driving takes a lot out of you. And I'm doing about, probably on average, about 500 kilometers a day, so it's a fair bit of driving. It's not cheap either, so, you know, if you want to hit me up on Patreon, that'd be rad. <laughs> and take a look at that map. Anyway guys, I actually don't know what I'm doing today. I'm just going to hit the road, make it towards my campsite, and uh, try and find some stuff in between. We'll see what happens. Hit the road. For lunch, we stopped at Clearwater, which is one of the few rivers passing through this glacial plain area. It's quite flat, and then suddenly there's these big valleys full of these gorgeous rivers, and I'll show you that in a minute. However, we're stopped for lunch. We're gonna do a sandwich here. We've got some toasted all grain bread on the frying pan, uh, some spinach, cheddar cheese, onions, tomatoes, a little bit of uh, ham on top, and then this is the kicker, a wasabi sauce, and it's like a wasabi mayonnaise dipping sauce and it is amazing with the ham the cheese and the onion hits it just right mm. i'm a big fan <laughs> Oh! 
so this is our campsite. We just crossed over into British Columbia. This is called Inca Lake. And British Columbia is kind of cool because unlike Alberta, British Columbia has a lot of recreational sites and a lot of them are free to use and a lot of them you can camp overnight. So this really, really nice campground, which is really well set up and really clean right on a lake, wide open, is, uh, yeah, it's free to use. How nice is that? I picked a spot here as close as I could get to the water because, you know, it's nice to be right next to the lake, but also because the breeze keeps the bugs off and it is quite windy today, which is really nice actually. So the bugs are not bothering me at all. I am gonna change into something a bit warmer though. Definitely gonna have a fire tonight, gonna cook up something on the wood. Oh, this is a good campsite. I feel good about today. It's good. It's good to be back out on the road again. So I want to take a moment and talk about my new sponsor, Sunglass Warehouse. They provided these shades. They called me up and said, hey, we hear you're broke and that you need some sunglasses because if you guys remember, I suffered through like pretty much the entire Southwest without decent sunglasses. The few that I did have were scratched to bits and uh, yeah, it was, it was not a good scene. My problem is I'm traveling all the time, I'm broke and I destroy sunglasses on the regular. If I don't destroy them, I lose them. So I don't like investing heavily in sunglasses. And these guys, they do cheap sunglasses. Now the problem with cheap sunglasses, usually they're kind of cheap. These ones, not so much. They sent me a few pairs, enough for me and Champ. And I gotta say, these are some pretty nice sunglasses. The fit and finish is way better than what I was expecting at the price they're offering at. And um, yeah, like it's a lot better than some $100 sunglasses I've laid hands on. So. I'm gonna go ahead and say I like these guys and I will highly suggest them. Go check them out. They've actually included a coupon code which I'm gonna put on the screen right now and you guys get 20% off so it's a pretty rad deal for everybody. So if you're like me and you lose stuff and destroy stuff on the regular because you're traveling around all the time, check these guys out. They're good. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much Sunglass Warehouse. Check out their links. They're super rad. I'm gonna enjoy this super awesome never-ending sunset until like probably midnight and have myself a sweet, sweet campfire. All right, good night guys.
Thank you.